Hey everyone, you might recognize me and Eric here from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. I just want to let you know before you get into this segment that this merchandise you see on our shirts and on our cups and on anything else you ever see with Nintendo Prime branding on it, you can get in the description below. You can also get the full audio podcast not segmented in the description below. And if you would like early access to our podcast, please go over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. For $5 a month, you gain early access to the full audio podcast. And Mr. Eric, what do you get for $20 a month? Ooh, you get to join us on a podcast. That is right. So... If you would like to ever be on the Nintendo Pride Podcast, get your voice in front of thousands of other Nintendo fans out there. You know what to do. Hit up that $20 tier on Patreon. Anyways, folks, on to the episode. All right, we're going to move on to our third topic. What, 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 what have we got on the clock here? How much time we got? We're at nine. We got, so we got about an hour. Right. About halfway. Yep, that's good. Two topics halfway through. Good. Right on yep. target. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, all right. Topic three. We're going back to Odyssey. <laughs> what? Got to do sw- it. I was going to put this no. all on one topic, but I'm like, eh, whatever. We, we got to talk about Odyssey again. Again, for the full context, because some people are going to be listening to this topic and not hear the other parts of it. This is being recorded before right. we were able to play Odyssey. Yep. But just some interesting stuff to bring up. Or hear real sales numbers from the presumably that that uh, October 30th report. Yes. The best selling game on Amazon for all of 2017 is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mm-hmm. The second best selling game in 2017 for all video games. On Amazon, it's just Amazon, one retailer, really popular retailer. Maybe you've heard of them. Maybe you've heard of this game, Super Mario Odyssey. Before the game's even out, <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that is beyond the number amazing. three, Breath of the Wild. Um, so I want you guys to predict: Is it going to outsell Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart Eight, and why or why not? Huh. Go ahead, Eric. Are we talking combined? Well, it's just total sales for... Yeah. Um, yeah. It'll be lifetime today. Like, when Switch is all done and we look back... No, no, I'm talking combined. What Mario Kart 8 like and... Zelda Red and Mario Kart 8. Oh, no, they're individual, oh, individual as individuals. Games. Okay. Individual okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be well, nuts. Are you dumb? Well, hey, no. yeah. hey. Well, I mean, well, hey, hey, if I you mean, think Odyssey's going that high, yeah, then yeah, yeah. I already know your answer. Oh, right. No, no. I, <laughs> that would be, like, the best-selling Mario of all time. <laughs> might be the best-selling game of all time, then. All right. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think it will outsell both of those just because it the hype already is there. The sales figures apparently are already there just with Amazon. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it's a more I want to say it's a more broader franchise. It's got a lot more fans than just a, a, a Zelda or a, you know, Mario Kart. Yeah. So I, I think just with that alone, it's going to outsell them. Now, Together? No, nah, probably not. But yeah, I, I see you thinking over there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, honestly, I it, I agree that it, it is definitely going to outsell both of those games. I, w- I would think that if it was a brand new Mario Kart that it was competing against and not, uh, you know, the sort of uh, deluxe edition, um, then I think, yeah, Mario Kart would probably outsell um, a mainline Mario uh, platformer. But in this case, Mario Kart 8, not a brand new game. And so I think it will outsell both Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, specifically. Now, if they put out a new one, you know, Mario Kart 9, that could sell better, I think. But in this case, I think Mario Odyssey is the winner. I think... Hmm. It's tough because... You know, like when you talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, obviously it's a port. It's a very good port. Yes. New features added to it are... are, Superior version in every way. It's the best. That's the best version. There's no question. Well, and technically Breath of the Wild is also a port. Yeah, I know. (laughs) But but the difference is that Breath of the Wild released on both platforms at the same time. Right. Mario Kart 8 was like a year or two later. For sure. So... I understand arguments against Mario Kart, but then at the same time, it's the... It, it's outselling Zelda right now. 
Um, so it's like it'll be interesting to see what the sales update is because uh, man, if Mario Kart jumped yeah. ahead of Zelda, mm-hmm. that would be insane, uh, especially after how Zelda started. But yeah, but I, I think a lot of people that own switches right now. Sorry to cut you off, I did. It's no problem. Um, I just want to get this one thing out. It's that I don't think most people that own switches were Wii U owners. Mm-hmm. And I think if Switch continues to blow up and be this thing that moves 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 million units, God forbid, mm-hmm. Wii U and what the numbers games that are on there aren't going to matter when you're talking about a system with 13.5 million units versus that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at what Mario Kart Wii sold. It's yeah, like 20 plus million insane. units. I mean, it, I mean, insane, <laughs> insane numbers. Numbers that Nintendo's never seen with franchises before. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and if that's the direction the Switch is heading, if the Switch is really heading towards that 60, 70, 80, 100 million plateau, I don't know how Mario Kart 8 being on Wii U is really going to be relevant. Right. And no, I but think, the news is that it is an old game, you know? Well, the news to Switch owners is it's not old because they've never played it. Right, but there's still that that feeling in the air of oh, but it's a port, you know. Sure. I don't know. I, Not that it matters. Obviously, I would, I would contend that a lot game. of Switch owners. There might be a lot of Switch owners that didn't even know what a Wii U was. That's <laughs> That's definitely possible. Possible. We don't even know. Oh, this is a port. Well, since that is when? definitely what, possible. What, what was it ported from? This wasn't what Mario Kart Wii was like. <laughs> Um, oh, it's a port from that that 3DS one, right? Yeah, uh, it's. <laughs> I don't think it's going to... Like, that's the thing. I think Mario Kart has a broader appeal than even Mario. Yes, totally. Especially 3D Mario. Specifically mm-hmm. 3D Mario, because 3D Mario is always not sold as well as 2D Mario. I think 2D Mario has, has a huge, huge appeal. Mm-hmm. We've seen mm-hmm. it. We've seen, you know, the new Super Mario Bros. series, every single one of those games sold awesome. Even the Wii U one sold relatively awesome for the hardware it was on. Mm-hmm. But Mario Kart 8 has, has always been, like, right there and above. Uh, Mario oh, Kart. I'd be curious what kind of sales there would be between Super Mario, new Super Mario Brothers Wii U and uh, Mario Kart 8, both Wii U figures only. I can't remember. They, they have that up on their website. Oh. I just I don't have a computer know. in front of me to look at it. But yeah, it, the, the, their official Japanese sales thing ha- actually has like the million sellers for Wii U. Huh. Mm-hmm. And you can look at it right there and see which one sold better. Um. So that's that's my one my one caveat is that Mario Kart's just broader appeal and people aren't <laughs> gonna care that it's the Wii U version because it's that good. Mm-hmm. And everyone says it's that good. Um and it, it's one of those games it, that apparently, at least based on one one retailer, it's a must own game for yeah. Switch. Um mm-hmm. now yeah. obviously none of us are giving Zelda even remotely a shot. No. Yeah. It Which is, just, I mean, just, obviously, if you combine, happen, if you combine Wii U sales with it, I mean, even if you combine Wii U sales with it, um, no, I think Breath of the Wild is going to be evergreen. Unlike some other mm-hmm. Zelda games, it's going to keep selling every month. Yes. But so is Mario. So is Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, as we see in the sales charts, that Mario Kart and Zelda and all the stuff keep being up there. And, and that's another thing, though, too, though, is Mario Kart also does have a head start on Odyssey. Yes. So, but Odyssey also gets the advantage of launching when there's more units on the market. Yes. Yep. I mean, think about this: two million units are sold in the U.S. Plus, however many mi- millions are selling over the next couple of days of Odyssey's launch. And I'm sorry, worldwide millions. I'm yeah. not saying that we're selling all that in the well, U.S. That right. just that just necessarily means that it might have a better chance at selling overall within the first like couple weeks. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell better. Overall, overall. Well, let's think about this. It's okay. true, but the hype is so fresh now with oh, more is. units out there. Sales of Breath of the Wild are now... Uh, it's no longer at that point where Breath of the Wild has sold more than the number of Switches that were right. bought. That was just during launch. Right. That there, there are more... Not everyone that owns a Switch got Zelda at this mm-hmm. point. Maybe they got it for Mario Kart. Maybe they got it for Splatoon or ARMS or whatever the case may be. You know, maybe they bought it for indie games. I know, oh, like yeah, Greg almost. Miller loves, like he thinks it's it's the new Vita for him. He loves the yes. Vita because it's the best indie platform he's ever played on, and he, for him, that's what the Switch is. But yep. even Greg Miller is buying Super Mario Odyssey. Oh and, yeah, and 
I keep thinking in the back of my mind, what person owns a Switch that is not buying Odyssey? I could see people not buying Zelda. It's mm-hmm. a port. Maybe they bought it yeah. on Wii U. Uh, maybe they just can't handle the fact it's at 30 FPS and has performance tips. Maybe they just don't like open world exploration games. Or maybe they watched a review and they thought the item system was bad. Yeah. But how yeah, many they people... played a Zelda game 15 years ago and they didn't like it and they don't care to yeah. try it again. Right. But when you own a Nintendo platform, everyone knows Mario. That's, oh, the, yeah, that's sure. the mascot. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. 3D Mario especially is popular among like the more hardcore gaming crowd, mm-hmm. the more adult crowd, and that is what Nintendo has attracted with Switch. Mm-hmm. So I keep having a hard time on, like what consumer out there owns a Switch that's not buying Odyssey at some point in the next couple of years. So I keep thinking about that. I'm like it's not gonna have 100 percent attach rate. No game does. Right. But it, it's I keep thinking, I'm like, man, Odyssey's that game that I don't know. If you own a Switch, how you don't own it? Yeah, Breath of the Wild, I I can see, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but Odyssey, like, I, even people that that have told me that they don't like the drastic changes in the art directions between the worlds, I understand that criticism. But yeah. I guarantee yeah. you, the moment they try the game, they're buying it. Mm-hmm. What if they never try it? Well, I'm sure. Here's the thing: it's a yeah. game that all their friends are going to have, so they're going to try it eventually. At least I hope. Maybe, Maybe they don't have yeah. friends. Maybe they don't have <laughs> friends. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can't assume we don't know. <laughs> right. I mean, my only friend in the world sitting right next to me. So like, you know, <laughs> if I didn't have him, then I mean, I got I got you guys, right? Yeah, that's right. Thousands of subscribers, the thousands of subscribers that um, I never see your faces. <laughs> but you <laughs> feel their love. I feel in your the comments. love. Yes, I feel you wrecking <laughs> me in Splatoon 2 every match, <laughs> reminding me how much of a noob I am. Or yeah. bashing my skill set at arms, like, oh man, you really suck at arms. I'm like, oh man, I just started playing arms. I've yeah. never played it. Yeah. Oh man, that's what friends do. <laughs> it's brand new. <laughs> Nobody's ever played it. Why do you think why do you think I'm playing Grand Prix on level one? So I dominate and feel like a boss instead of getting destroyed yeah. by the CPU. Um, <laughs> but don't go over there. You might you might not be able to beat what's over there. Oh dude, I barely won the volleyball in the level one. Now granted, I wasn't using the motion controls. I remember when I played the test punch. I was better at the volleyball game with the motion controls than I was with the sticks. Really? Uh, but I've been playing it exclusively with sticks this time around just because I'm too lazy to reach up and disconnect my Joy-Cons, <laughs> basically. Um, <laughs> if I'm sitting at home, I mean, those Joy-Cons can stay in there. Um, yeah. Especially now, like, hey, notice we have another controller for NBA 2K18 now? Yeah. You yeah. don't even have to use the Joy-Cons. Oh. So you can oh, use wait, the normal, wait, normal wait, full-size whoa, whoa, controller. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you might even whoa. be using the pro controller because I kind of like the feel. Of it. Oh, I was playing Zelda with it the other day. It's, yeah, it's I, haven't nice. even, I haven't tried to touch it yet, so it's nice. It's light because it's not bad. There's no battery, right? Yet, right. But are you going to play it with a GameCube controller? No, <laughs> no. I'm actually Wolf Den uh, and his recent live said he says that he wished that Nintendo would just kill off the GameCube controller. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna piss off a lot of people, but I agree. <laughs> no, it's I been, agree too. It's been how long? It's time to move on. Controllers have gotten better than the GameCube controller. I understand yeah. that the button layout is literally perfect for Smash. It's like the controller was built for Smash Bros. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. I understand. Mm-hmm. It's time to move on. The rest of the world has moved on, but you yeah. few hardcore people that Nintendo doesn't even want to support in the first place. <laughs> the controller isn't perfect anyway. It has some really cool things that maybe they could the, have refined. The analog triggers are cool. I, no, that is one thing that I wish. But a little bit chunky, though. They, they are yeah. chunky. They are. They are. It's not perfect. Um, right. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to come out right and say, oh, the, the Switch Pro controller is better. It's better in some aspects. Right. Um, but it's also the standard that everyone in the world has been using for 20 years. Yeah. It's time to get off of a, a, a controller built for a single game. <laughs> Though in some ways I really have to respect it because now this is the fourth console generation that you can use the same original GameCube controller on. It's insane. That is kind of impressive. <laughs> That's assuming your controller survives. Yeah. That is also right, very true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, it needs to go away. And I hate that because when it does go away, it does pretty much mean the death of the melee community. Um, but uh, I'm sure there will be three third party always yeah. out there that'll make it. We have there's not allowed yet. Uh, oh, sure once, in the tournaments, yeah, sure. I'm sure they, once Nintendo kills it off, though, it's like there's a reason. Like there's there's uh, fight sticks that are allowed to use a lot of pro players in fighting games, like these fight sticks. Yeah, they're not as good. 
but yeah. according to the pro players, as yeah. the GameCube controller is, yeah. for pulling off certain moves. So it's like, I don't know. I, I don't but, know. I'm not a pro melee well, player, but, but so I can't tell you. But the thing is, though, is pro that melee players going to go if, on our comments if, and be like, "You are just so full." Of, let me tell you what you can't do with the current yeah. controller. Oh. <laughs> but the thing is, is that's their only option. They're going to go there out. Well, so I think, I think the only like, time they kill it off for sure, like I know they keep bringing it back. <laughs> the only way they're going to kill it off for sure is if, whenever they release the next Smash Bros, they finally support it as a true mm, esport. Yeah. Because then, if they support it as a true esport, offer cash prizes, do this, do that, push yep. it really hard at Evo, do all this stuff, that's going to kill off the Melee community anyways because there's no money there. Right. All the money will be with this new game that Nintendo's supporting with money. Yeah. And if yeah. they do that, then it's like, okay, well, of course you're killing off the GameCube controller because you're trying to... Now you're saying, look, we will finally support the Smash community just with our latest game. We're not going to do it right. with an right, old sure. game that we never built to be used that way. Counterpoint, what if they release Melee HD? <laughs> GameCube controller <laughs> back in action. <laughs> Kill it off anyways. Make Just it stir in the pot. Make Just people the pot. use the Pro Controller. Here, here's the thing. Here's why I hate seeing the Pro Controller brought through the, through the generations. For Melee, whatever. That was the only controller at the time. It is not the standard controller that comes with your system. All right. So now you're giving people right. specific advantages over other people. Oh, you're used to it with Melee, so now you have all these advantages when you're playing Brawl and when you're playing... Uh, you know, Super Smash Bros. 4 on Wii U. Why are you giving those people an advantage? Because they are refusing to change how they play to the new controller yeah. that everyone else has to use. That's been my problem yeah. with them continuing Fair to point. bring it back is that it is giving an advantage. It's like, oh, options are good. I agree options are yeah. good. As long as those options are available to everybody. Yeah. Everyone doesn't own game controllers. Yes, they brought back the Smash controller. It was very hard to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. It was very hard for a while to even get a hold of the port. But everybody has a gamepad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone can get a Wii U Pro Controller. Why can't you just make that the standard? Mm -hmm. yep. Why do you have to offer a vastly different controller type and give people who refuse to change an advantage? I, And I understand it's catering to the, the most hardcore fan base. Yeah. I, I get that. But guess what? A majority of your sales of Smash aren't to the hardcore fan base. They should... Uh, they should if you're so good at Smash Melee... And you're so good with that GameCube controller, you should be able to get just as good with the new controllers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Develop new grips, develop new strategies, learn how to use it. Every, all other fighting games and all other game, FPS games and shooter games, everyone uses it. it and you never know. It, it it could actually be better eventually because the response times are... Good, no, I, that's the one thing. Is it wired? Wired yeah, versus wireless. Yeah, but, but, but the thing but is... But then again, it's all analog, though. Well, the Pro Controller... Odd uh, switch can be wired in. You can connect mm -hmm. it as a USB controller. Yeah. So like, mm -hmm. yeah. The, you don't have to use it wireless. It's all for, analog for a professional play. Too. You don't have to. I mean, so. even look at this. Th this controller here, this Mario controller. Yes, it's a third party controller, but it's officially licensed. It's a wired controller, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. has all the same functionality as the Pro controller. Just you know, no Amiibo support, no whatever. But you don't need that for pro playing, anyways. Rumble, no, no, yeah, no HD Rumble. But whatever, you can have a controller like that. But as I said, the pro controller itself already plugs in, so you yeah. don't have to use it wirelessly. So since you don't have to use it wirelessly, that excuse is gone. The only excuse mm -hmm. is you don't want to change, right? Because yep. you spent fifteen years perfecting something. I get, I understand. There are speedrunners out there; they spend years. But guess what? They're playing that game with the original controller it came with. They're not being like, oh, man, I perfected speedrunning Zelda 2 with the NES controller, so now that should be compatible with Breath of the Wild. Yeah. No, they, they adapt to the new controls for the new game. Yeah. Well, it's like, what if Smash Brothers fundamentally changes the fighting style and adds, instead of just smash attacks and special attacks, what if they add a third button now that has a whole new set of attacks? Are you going to complain? All they have to do... it's not exactly the same thing that you've done for the last 15 all years? All they have to do to kill the GameCube controller is make it so all four shoulder buttons do something that you can't do with any other button. <laughs> right, yeah, because it only has the three. Yep. Done. Can't do... Yeah. The, I mean, it's got four face buttons. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Uh, you can't do anything about start, select, or, or the joysticks. No, no, there's no. There's sticks. only start. There's no select. Uh, sorry, there's no select. But you're not going to make that a move in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Minus button, minus button. Hit, Come on. Hit the minus Could button. Could be the smash ball, maybe. But literally, if they add some new mechanic that's only possible with having to hit all, you know, 
even if you had to hit two of the shoulder buttons at once or whatever, uh, where there's at some point you need to use all four shoulder that would buttons have to for be something. The left side. Yeah, it'd right? be on the left yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, the top, the top left one. Yeah. Yeah, then they could kill the GameCube controller. Mm-hmm. Because the GameCube controller literally could not be the best controller for it. Unless you have the Melee players come and be like, oh, that move doesn't matter anyways. Yeah, right. No one's going to beat me anyways, because all the pro players aren't going to use that move. There's always going to be that one. I'm sure some of them also are going to arrive on the scene with a successfully modded GameCube controller with another shoulder button. (laughs) (laughs) It would would happen. Guys, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I appreciate your love of the GameCube controller. I thought it was a fantastic controller. As it is well. a cool controller. No lies. Was a fantastic controller. Keyword. It's time to move on. Just like it's time yeah. to move on to our next topic. All right. Hey. Final topic of the day. <laughs> oh yeah. Finally, we're not talking. We're not talking about Odyssey. It was a little smooth because we went from talking about Odyssey to not talking about Odyssey. Yeah. But that's uh, okay. 